uh, today <laughs> there are whole schools of media about <laughs> it. And so over the history of 40 years, uh, we have seen something which seemed very foreign and very strange and very industrial, the computer, become something where everybody in their pocket has a cell phone with a computer. <laughs> and so this uh, art and technology discussion for us uh, is one um, of what I would call cultural appropriation um, of uh, many of the tools and the knowledge uh, in science and technology. Um, and so one of the interests that we've had in the last 15 years, we started asking the question about biology and genetics. Uh, and 20 years ago, there were maybe three artists that worked in biology labs. Uh, now, there are hundreds of, of artists today and in fact, you can now buy uh, genetic technology and in your own kitchen, you can manipulate uh, biology. Um, in the same way, of course, that farmers used to man manipulate plants by selection, <laughs> uh, now artists can actually um, be involved with, with living matter in, in other kinds of ways than, than horticulture. Um, and so, over the last 20 years, we've seen um, also, the biology lab become uh, a place for cultural uh, appropriation. Um, and one of the uh, particular interests that I have at the moment, and, and the many of the people in, in our network are talking about, um, is if you look at the, the problem of climate change uh, and the environment on our planet, um, it's clear that the biological systems on our planet are changing. Uh, in, in, a, in the sense of deep, deep ecology. Um, and yet I think most people have very crude or very little knowledge about how evolution actually takes place. Um, we know, for instance, that in, in England, when the, during the Industrial Revolution, when there was much pollution and soot, uh, smoke in the air, butterflies evolved and changed their appearance in response to the change of the environment. So we can actually see evolution happening on the time scale of, of human beings, uh, of human activity. Today, now that we're looking at uh, global warming and climate change, we can expect uh, the ecology to have to adapt and change. Um, and unfortunately, it's, uh, it's, it's a very complex problem. And so I think it's, it's important for artists to become involved in these questions um, because we, we are very much at the beginning of understanding um, 